Okay, I'm going to show you a couple of tricks as a moderator that, you know, a couple of powers that you have and, you know, kind of how to use them. Um, firstly, you know, we've got, you know, let's choose a post here. We might as well just use this one for an example. Um, if you go up to this little arrow here, this little drop down arrow, you'll see you got a few options. One is delete post. If you push that, okay you'll delete this actual post and you can actually choose to delete the post and remove the user too and that'll ban them uh, I don't think that's a permanent ban though it may be but I'm not sure um, here you can pin the post but generally don't do that especially when you're new um, that actually makes it stick to the top of the, the group so everybody can see it that logs onto the page uh, you can also turn off commenting and um, you know to this so that nobody can comment on a given post again generally don't use that unless you know I've only used that a few times but you know generally um, we um, don't use that certainly not until you're well experienced with it um, you know with this sort of thing um, okay another thing you can do is you can come down here and choose a a user if you click on this you know these options come up where you can delete their comment now you can also hide their comment but you know and then that gives you the ability to block Brad but I'm not sure if that's just for you or for everybody <laughs> so um, even Ray didn't know the answer to that so um, again mostly um, you know the delete comment I know deletes it period um, but this may just hide it from for you you know and not everybody else I'm not sure because I know if you're uh, you know just a regular user or a member of the group you know you can hide somebody's comments so I don't I don't know if that's just personally for you or if it's for everybody um, but let's say we wanted to ban this this user um, what you do is you go and try to and it's a little tricky but you know you can basically highlight his name you know using the left mouse button and copy it <clears throat> and then if you go up um, you scroll up here to the members area um, you know you got this there that tells you what the members are and the admins and the blocked list but if you go over here to this find a member uh, do not enter it into this search the group but into this find the member little uh, search box here you know you uh, just paste his name in there and you can type it in there too if you'd rather uh, type it um, and just press enter and then it get, brings up this guy's name so that's that's who that is so you can go and you know that's the he, this shows that he's a member of the group so you can go click this little button here and and you won't have these options uh, but you will have this option the remove from group okay and you, you've got this option to block permanently or if you just hit confirm like or just hit confirm right now I think he would only be banned for 24 hours uh, but if you hit block permanently he'll be banned permanently <coughs> so you know if I wanted to eliminate this guy I'd, I'd go ahead and hit block permanently and, and confirm it or if I just wanted to ban him for 24 hours I just do it this way um, but now if you go and let's say we did block him permanently he would go into this blocked list right here so his name would show up in this blocked list and you can remove that block but if you do it still won't add him back as a member if you've already banned him but you know if you block somebody by accident or something like that well at least you can remove their their block so that they could be rejoin the group um, and of course you know you can find out who the admins and so forth are but almost everybody can see this stuff so um, and you know and here's the member list but anyway um, that gives you an idea here now this is a great example this is another thing you'll be bothered with every now and then this says that five people you know, want to join this group and you'll usually get a notification on that so if you click on this or if you click on it in your notifications area um, you know if you receive a notification you can go in here and approve these guys and you're welcome you know if you've got time to actually go um, you know again right click 
on these guys and and what I do is I'll open them up in a new tab so if they show up here and you can bring up their their profile you probably can't see this this is at the top of the screen but anyway it brings up a new tab so you can actually click on that up up here at the top of your screen and um, you know you can kind of check them out and see if they have a bunch of liberal garbage on their site uh, but again often what you'll see is just this I mean you know you won't see a lot so you know often you can't tell whether somebody is somebody you want to have a member of the group or not so usually what we'll do is we'll just go through here and approve them but sometimes again if you're bored or whatever you can go in and try to research these guys um, but we usually just approve them and then eliminate them if they're you know if we find out later that they're trolls or whatever um, there's just usually not enough information to work with um, you can sometimes go like try to find out what groups they're in and stuff like that but oftentimes you know you won't see much okay and let's say another thing I want to show you real quick is let's say you know you find a troll or um, you know like let's say this person here was a troll okay the Sarah era you know and I, I do advise you you know to actually check them out you know like open the link in the new tab here let me change this so you can see it you know open a link in a new tab and check them out and you know and see if you think they're a liberal or not um, so again oftentimes you can't you just can't tell you can't always tell but um, uh, she's, I know she's not a liberal though but the fact of the matter is you know you, you can sometimes vet these people to make sure that they're um, maybe a liberal and you know unless there's no doubt about it so anyway the point is, is let's say you wanted to show um, us one of these comments let's say they were a troll and you're like hey let's let's have some fun with this this asshole and you know let me uh, call some of my friends in well you can actually go and and hover your cursor right over this little timestamp here and right click it and then it'll go copy link address you know hit that but usually you'll have to do it a second time because for some reason Facebook doesn't um, you know doesn't always it doesn't always uh, copyright um, but you can go, you know, see what you copied by pasting it in your URL up there, and that, you know, you can see that it's basically copying this this post, you know, the, the post right here that we're looking at, uh, but it actually centers kind of on that comment that we copied. But anyway, let's say you wanted to send it to your to a buddy of yours, you know, you can go here and, you know, paste it. Either use Control V or whatever, but you can paste it in there and. You know, usually you can write a little comment or something before you do that if you want. But, you know, you can send it to one or more of us. And then, um, you know, we can come look at the post, you know, whatever it is. You know, you may want to get somebody's opinion or you may want to send, um, you know, send something to one of us to get a second opinion on. Uh, or you just may want to help, you know, some help bashing a troll. So anyway, that's that's a way you can do that. So, you know, that covers pretty much the basics. So if you have any further questions, just ask one of the moderators um, and or, or me, and we'll uh, try to help you out. Thanks.